Good afternoon, folks. If this is your second stream of the day with me, welcome back. If this is your first stream of the day with me, welcome. If this is your first stream ever, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, we're going to be continuing our RimWorld playthrough that we've been doing every Saturday afternoon for a while now. Probably like a month or so. And uh, yeah, we're going to just continue doing that until probably like four or five or so. And then I'm going to have to hop off of streaming for the evening because uh, there might be some severe weather in the area. Uh, and I would rather not, like, be streaming and then a tornado fucking touchdown. So, anyway, we're going to be continuing our room world playthrough. Uh, doing more tech tree research and getting better weapons, upping our defenses, training our people. And, yeah, just getting a little better. But before we do that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, who, who pays bail and helps get LGBTQ folks out of jail. If, if you want to donate to that, I have a donation button below the stream. I have an exclamation point donate command. And and uh, I have a QR code on the bottom of the screen that you can scan to also take, get taken to the donation page. I don't receive any sort of like points or sponsorship money or anything like that for fundraising for these folks. I just... It's a good cause, and I'm happy to be able to at least try to raise some money f to help them out. But your support's greatly appreciated, whether you're able to or want to donate or not. Thank you. Probably should have booted up the game before I started this, because Rim RimWorld takes a minute to boot up, because, like, all the DLCs... <clears throat> And all the all the all, all the I have all the DLCs and I've got some mods, so it just takes a minute for RimWorld to kind of get its shit together. So we're just uh, waiting for RimWorld to do its thing. <clears throat> All right, games I think it's loading up. It says initializing. Hi, Pookie. You got your toy? You, want, you bring it here, I'll throw it for you. Jesus Christ. What a disaster. Just waiting. Unfortunately. <clears throat> there we go. Should be loaded up now. All right. The purple octopus Krauka. Jump back in. OK, 
Yeah, let's pause immediately. <clears throat> Got <laughs> Huntsman the Shirtless Wonder. Bunch of animal corpses. We last stream we expanded the fridge. Like it was just previously this, but now we got all this other space. Let's see, what were we doing? Caveman! Oh yeah, because uh, uh, Owen here is our leader and also a Neanderthal. <clears throat> the most salient characteristic is they are difficult to hurt. They're very resistant to injury and their strong immune systems protect them from infection. However, without ever having evolved into a complex civilization, they are less adept than baseline or humans at intellectual and social tasks, and their impulsiveness can make them dangerously aggressive. <laughs> Which is funny that Owen here has got a flaming passion and social and hype social skill, because I think genetically uh, Neanderthals are, yeah, they have a poor social gene, minus four, but... Not gonna, not gonna hold Owen back or Caveman back. Homo neanderthalensis was originally an archaic population of hominids that emerged over 200,000 years ago during the Pleistocene epoch. After they were replaced by and merged with humans 300,000 years ago, they were absent for tens of thousands of years until scientists resurrected them from ancient DNA. Neanderthals now survive in sub-societies on some settled planets. On the Rimworlds, Neanderthal tribes Cry with the same existence as their Earth ancestors did so long ago. Yes. The caveman here is uh, just. He's just having a good time. He's praying in his room. Uh, let's see. What's Olabar up to? Oh, Devil Strand. Yes. The Devil Strand finally came in. It takes a while to grow, especially if you're growing it just out there. But this is a temperature controlled sun, uh, sun lamp room, so I can grow stuff year round. Ah, uh, yeah. We we're gonna build another one of these over here and connect it up to here so I could have more of these going all at all times to grow more shit. That's all right. So, lady is well hauling Devil Strand. Jenny Genevieve is. We have a child, so she's uh, taking care of the child. Diva is also praying. Uh, yeah. Huntsman and Genevieve are our researchers. Genevieve is level 20 intellectual. So, uh, frankly, she's our main researcher, but he also researches when he's not doing other stuff like cooking. Just because... Yeah. I might add another one of... I might add another one of these... Like, I might, um, space this out two more and then add another one of these workbenches so we can have both of them researching on high-tech uh, research benches instead of this. And then we can have the stuff for them, like, over here or whatever. And you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and pull the trigger on that. We might also expand our prison to have two different cells while we're at it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. That way, if we do get prisoners, we can figure out what we're going to do with them and go from there. We're just going to expand all this, this little row here by two more in general. That should give Caveman something to do because, well, he's, I guess he's... It's changing gear to something else he, he feels more inclined to wear. We have so much wood, it's a little overwhelming. And now that we're switched over to using Chinese bone uh, traps because they, um, they, they do twice as much damage <clears throat> and they uh, penetrate more armor. Long term, though, steel is probably going to be what we do, we do traps out of. Just because once you can get, like, the mineral underground mineral scanner, we can probably get basically endless amounts of steel, basically. Okay, you're harvesting psycho. Ooh, okay. 
Uh, how much more time in the seasons left? There might not be enough time left to uh, grow more. Maybe not more psychoid, but as as it is, um, we've still got plenty of these uh, psychoid, these um, psychic T's for Diva, because Diva needs psychic T to survive, because just genetically she needs psychite in her body to be able to function properly. This shelf is gonna inherit this, we're gonna have more melee weapon storage here. And then these other shelves are gonna be uh, for wood. Just so I can make my base look a little less dirty. <laughs> Alright. Now Olabar can do what he needs to do and. If necessary, we can grow Psychite and such, and, um, we actually grow Psychite and, uh, Cotton in this room, which is also why I want to get this up and running eventually, too. Yeah, we also have, like, a, an army of donkeys. <laughs> Jenny doing? Oh, you're gonna go build. Actually, let's have you mend some stuff, cause... Just gonna go play poker and then probably, uh... Research or go to sleep or something, yeah. I gotta be cautious about my uh, food. No, oh, never mind. We got this corn that's almost done, and then all of this is corn, too. That's gonna give us so much food. Because during the last winter, I used these to grow rice during the winter to keep us alive, and it worked pretty well. All, cons all things considered, it went pretty well. <clears throat> She's Genevieve is up at weird hours because she uh, breastfeeds. <laughs> so her sleeps a little off from her husband and honestly just about everyone else. It's just a little slanted. Caboose has given birth. To donkey full six. Let's look at our animals, cause yeah. Any more? Any other babies we get, we're gonna just start killing them off, cause yeah. It's a little mean, and frankly, it would be better to let them grow up before killing them, because this, this little donkey foal only is going to give us, like, I mean, that's 39 meat for doing nearly nothing, because this just kind of recoups our meat usage. Uh, let's make sure this is all, well, oh, you're making some psychite tea. That's great. That's fine, honestly. Let's 
still sterile in there. Phantom has also given birth, so. I mean, we can tell which ones are, are which, because the ones we have named are the ones we're definitely keeping, so we can just kind of let them grow a little bit more. And honestly, with this extra space in here, this is dirt, we could plant uh, hay grass and grow it year-round in this room, in the extra spaces, but... So we can uh, move this room around a little bit. Olbar is doing his granolin tree. Let's have him do this instead because I want this tree eliminated. Perhaps I should have a, a door going to this from like out here. Yeah, we'll, we'll end up moving, like, this wall somewhere over here. Alright, now let's move these walls back. Let's also move these walls back too, because I want to make like two kind of smallish cells. They don't have to be nice. Although if they're nice prison cells, the prisoners tend to uh, be a little less upset. <laughs> uh, flooring. Let's put down some more of these sterile tiles. They make for nicer research rooms. We might also start putting in sterile tiles and this this is our little hospital. We might uh reorient some of this stuff too. I'll give Diva something to do as well. Okay, let's go back to Florin. Uh, do we have mar we have marble? We do. Let's put down some marble tile. It's just. gonna be a very a very small prison cell and they're gonna not be very happy about it when they're in there but that's not our problem <laughs> unfortunately for them that's not really our problem oh sweet Jesus we have so much wood that these shelves just weren't enough I don't really have know what I'm gonna use it for <laughs> oh that's terrible I'll have her finish this off. Okay. For prisoners. It's about to be a really, de a really depressing uh, jail cell. Hmm. 
let's see. I'm just gonna. have Diva get this stuff taken out really quick. Okay. Now we have we have two choices. We can either lock the cell in like this and make the, it miserable for them. I mean, it's still probably gonna be pretty damn miserable anyway. But you can either do it like that and have like another set of doors there or something, but. Or it could be slightly more humane. Scary, I know, right? But. And then have. Hmm. I would prefer to have more of these doors in between. Like, the doors like this let. Um, make it to where it's harder for them to break out. Because there would just be more doors in the way. Um. It might also be smarter just to move this somewhere else entirely, but for now, we're just going to kind of keep it here. Hmm. I think this will be fine. For some reason, I keep forget. I'm so for some reason I'm forgetting how to flip shit around. I swear it was like Q and like E or something, but it's a m m sudden brain fart and how to play the video game. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, it is. Okay, Q and E. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. I don't have to rotate the doors. They'll place correctly. And after she, after DV eats, I'm gonna have her finish this because this will let us make the lab got have two of these benches instead of just one.
Okay, it's gotta be like right next to um Hmm, that's kind of annoying. Um this needs to move. In that case, we're gonna have to get a little game, a little weird with the uh, place and all this stuff. Apparently, this right here wasn't linked to this, so it's not getting the boost. It may be better to move that there, because then I can move this. Never mind, that doesn't fucking work that way, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just trying to figure out how I can get this to work properly. Hmm. I was hoping by having it down here, we'd be able to just kind of... Because if it's right... Yeah, the chair needs to move there. If it's right here, it would work. But, mm. but not right there. If I don't just move shit out of the way. Now I can figure this out a little bit better. Wait, it's saying that it links to the file cabinet currently. I don't really think I understand, but you know, whatever. I was wondering why it was so specific. this one here I'm mostly just doing this so I can make sure that the file cabinet thing links up okay now we can build another one of these Component. We still have 32. That's pretty good. In the future, we're going to be able to uh, make our own components out of steel, which is super useful. Because until otherwise, you just have to find them or buy them or. Yeah. Should be linked to this now. Both of these should be. And now both of our researchers should be able to do research whenever the need arises. So that's nice. Well, 
hopefully the hopefully the corn's done soon. Oh, what we have here? Ship chunks are falling from the sky. They seem to be infested with insects. Well, that's fun. We need to destroy these now, but they might. Did I end up making him in a? No, I was. I, was, I think I was gonna re research to make sniper rifles. Yeah, that's what we were researching now. Actually, uh, we don't have time for that. Um. <clears throat> Let's make some plate armor. What can we make it out of? Can we get a bone? Can we get that? Doesn't bone bone doesn't sound like a very good um. Steel plate armor sounds sixty pretty good. Uh, sharp armor uh, defense. Hmm, we should probably use steel. We could use bone. Yeah, we'll try to use, we'll, we'll use bone just for the sake of it. And, all right, Genevieve, I know you're researching, but we're gonna need you to make a, um, make some armor. Cause we're gonna have uh, Olabar and Huntsman go deal with that thing that just showed up because letting that sit around is probably not wise. Oh, there's already bugs. My, I love that. You know, that's my favorite. We got some mega spiders. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to let these get very close to us, if possible. As long as we don't go near them, they shouldn't like aggress on us. That should give us time to kind of get... Well, that armor might take a lot longer to make than I thought. Um... Oh, that's that's not Huntsman. Uh, what's he, he making some more Psych IT? That's great. That's great, buddy. How about we have you go pop some shots off at our at our little bug friends that just showed up? Cause maybe I could maybe I could cheese some of them like I did the uh, did did some of the other stuff. In the meantime, I'll have her finish. I'll have her make that the armor. It seems like a bad idea, but it's a well. It's uh fleeing instead of uh making everything. Ag I think they're. I think they're defending these ship chunks. I was expecting them to be a little bit more aggressive than this. I wonder what happens if I shoot the actual ship thing.
We're gonna need to turn our attention to this now. Oh, it, it's that one definitely took notice. So let's uh, get out of the fucking. Let's get out of here before it kind of gets its uh, shit together. They might be going to our traps now, which is fine. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting you to do that. <clears throat> He's doing his best. It's raining, so his accuracy's a little lowered. Ooh. He got fucking got. Now let's uh keep that um Well that's one of them down. We gotta we gotta get rid of these ship chunks though. <clears throat> so I need to kinda go harass more of these and Maybe even try to kill off one of these. Oh, I, I think they know I'm here. I think they've been aggroed and now they'll like kind of be able to tell where I am. Wow, I didn't hit a single shot there. That's great. They might destroy this door. Let's have him um, retreat a little further into the base. Just in case. We're kind of being a little foolish. <sighs> uh, let's take this door and put it here as well, Huntsman. Let's grab that door off. Someone else build a replacement door there. Alright, Huntsman. You're about to get a, get a little silly. The enemies are all, are all returned up there. Up. Let's inch a little closer. Maybe give a, a warning shot or something. If I, if I had a sniper rifle, this would be not nearly as uh, sketchy, because I don't have the sniper rifle yet, so we're... Alright, well, let's shoot some shots. Alright, well, the plate armor's complete. I don't know where it got put. Ooh, excellent bone plate armor, which not as good against sharp, but it is better at, than blunt at than steel was. Overall, probably better than whatever Olabar had previously. So let's have him. Uh, Put that on, and we might have we might have him join Huntsman out here for some uh, shooty shoot. Oh, 
Okay, we killed that one. Let's retreat. Because the the other, other spoders are kind of coming in. Oh, where's the fire? We'll have someone deal with that in a second. <clears throat> I mean, I know it's raining, but I would rather my corn not burn to a crisp. back to trying to cheese these because they should probably leave well that's gonna be a little close let's be a little being a little foolish <clears throat> oh okay we need to get away from the door because I think oh they decided they want to hit a wall now They might be breaking into the base now. That's not ideal. Um, <clears throat> I want. I need to see where this, where these things are going. This might be. I don't know where these things are going or what they're doing. They just kind of give up. I think that gave up. They might have given up. But we're still gonna have Olabar come and uh, be a uh, be backup. Starvate. You need to eat some food, weirdo. Why do I need to babysit you? Fin finish feeding Bean and you'll probably be, a f be okay. Alright, as you were. Deep has reached 14 construction. What are you constructing? Oh, what I told her to. <laughs> We're not going to throw Olabar out there immediately. He's just like here in the event something goes wrong. Back in. Ah, oh, I, I was like, wait, what happened? But uh, it's nighttime. That's what happened. Are they all going this way? I mean, I really wouldn't be that bothered if they did, but I don't think they are. I just know that, um, in not that long, these are going to make more bugs. So we uh, need to handle this sooner rather than later. So 
I've been trying to like kind of pick off the enemies as I kind of isolate a few of them. You're eating your own people, you fucking weirdo. Well, waste not, want not, and all that, I guess. Uh, let's wait till it's about right there. Alright, I hit it. Let's see if we can hit it a few more times. Alright, back in. Because. Oh, it might even. It might. Ooh, that was a little. That was a little close. Okay, so it's. it's What are you doing? Oh, is the temperature, is the temperature too hot for Bean? No, I think Lady was just worried by uh, the bugs getting close. Put the child back, please and thank you. Go play poker or something. These bugs are probably gonna give up. Yeah, they gave up already. <laughs> okay, she's asleep. <clears throat> well, like Huntsman go eat and then we'll have him resume kind of poking away um, would this bow be better for what I'm trying to do it might be what this musket Range cooldown 3.4. What about this? What about the bow, the homing super bow? Much less range cooldown. Uh, accuracy uh, medium range, which is 25 cells. Uh, short range. Yeah, that might be more accurate to have Huntsman use that instead. Since a lot of those shots kind of go wide anyway. Especially since it's raining with this assault rifle. If all, if all the shots hit, it does more damage. But if if two of the shots hit, the, the ultimately do more damage. But you know what? Whatever, you know what? Huntsman, whatever. You're actually going to a table. It's just not the one I would have preferred you to go to. Do I not have any more steel? I mean, it's very possible I just don't have any more steel for this. No, I, I do. What did we just not feel like doing that? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, where are you, Hudson? Says you're resting. Uh, no, you're not. Not yet. I want to harass these bugs some more. Says they're asleep. Maybe I can just destroy these ship pieces while they sleep. Although I bet if I hit it, it'll wake them up. Well, it's slow, but so far it's definitely like working. They're not bothering me either. Although I bet when I blow it up, it's going to make them mad. Guess we'll find out. Don't really know. I don't think this is, I don't think this event is vanilla. So who knows what, how it's even going to like work. Like two more shots. One more shot and then this will blow up. No, they just didn't really seem to care. Uh, what about this one? 
That's, that one has this, this the lowest time until it comes up. I, th I think they noticed. <laughs> run, Huntsman. Run, you fucker. <laughs> well, at least I got rid of one of them, so if they do end up reproducing more insects, it'll be less. Or are they gonna just run out? They're gonna go sleep right there. You know what? It, it's fine. Go go to bed. <laughs> we we don't we destroyed one of these things again, which would be way easier if I had a sniper rifle to just shoot them from like the base, basically. For now, let's uh, cut off the exits to the base. So that people don't do stupid shit, because the, the, they'll they'll do stupid shit if given the chance. So we got one, two, three. Problem though is if they really want to do stupid shit, they can just kind of do it. So let me just um, do our area checking stuff. Because some of this is a little uh, outdated, I think, since we've done our base up updates. Uh, let's see. Like, raid defense is out of date, so let's update that with our new... Uh, just new parts of the base that have been added on since our uh, <clears throat> yeah cause last time I really used the raid defense thing we didn't have like any of this any of this so yeah we need to like set this up for um, future use in case we get more problems. <clears throat> that way people can still kind of do stuff inside the base without um, causing problems and when I'm doing dumb shit like this, I can manually force them to not be in dangerous spots. Or to, to go to dangerous spots, like... I'm just gonna kind of try to future-proof this a little bit. Okay, let's see, that's filled in, that's filled in. Interior is Well, got that, that, <clears throat> excuse me, this is mostly to help keep uh, them from doing dumb shit while I'm trying to handle a raid or something, because... Otherwise, given the chance, they'll just go off and, like, oh, there's, like, this insect corpse next to all these uh, very much alive insects. Let me, uh, just go get that insect corpse. It's very important. <laughs> uh, this helps reduce some of the babysitting by, by definitively defining where they can and cannot go at any given point when I have them assigned to the specific areas. K 
keep forgetting there's like some uh, steel in the wall over here. We're probably going to have Lady go grab that before long. Like we'll just kind of do this, just to anticipate where the steel is, and I'll very likely have her start doing that now. Let's get this situation still. Let's finish off all of this very meticulous. Like it looks silly that we're doing this, but I'd rather get it done now and then not like rely on it when I don't have it actually set up right and then it blow up in my face and I have somebody die or something like that. Alright, so we got that, got that, all this area out here is done, all that area is done. We just got to do our trap hallway situation. As far as raid defense goes, I don't really want them, my people to just run around in the hallway because that seems uh, foolish when the enemies might be in the hallway. And if I'm going to have them apprehend enemies in the hallway, I'm going to have them specifically do it while I am controlling them. So, yeah. Alright, well, so far it looks pretty good. Let's go back to our schedule and... Everyone's going to be raid defense. So they don't run outside and go play with the mega scarabs that are asleep in our backyard. <laughs> Cause again, they will. And with things set up the way they are, Olabar can still go play with his, uh, his gar garland tree or whatever. With that, we don't need to do this, because they won't go near the doors, I don't believe. Yeah, they won't go, they won't actually like, go at the door and make it open if I, the way I have it. So, I can still manually select, um, like, Huntsman to go do some stuff when necessary. Uh, meals are still doing fine. We're not super worried about it. Okay, yeah, they're gonna go back to. Well, they're gonna go eat. Look at all this insect jelly that we can collect. That is the one, that is the one thing about. Um, yeah, that has to die, like, as soon as possible. That's the one thing about these uh, hives is that they produce this insect jelly, which is. That's what it was. Glows under its own life for a long time, then dies. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, if you look at the insect jelly here, it's a uh, jelly stored and uses food by oversized insect. It is smooth, rich, and fills the recreation need of those who consume it. Because of its unique biological properties, it can nourish almost any creature and never rots. It's very good food, but it's hard to get a lot of it without intentionally keeping an insect hive alive. But then you gotta deal with the insects, which... There's not like a thing, there's not like a thing you can do to like really control insects. I think you can maybe tame insects, but that seems like a lot of work. Let's have him cook a few more meals just to give me, kind of ensure that we've got 
Corn plants. Oh, God damn it. Um, you're going to stop that and go cut the blight from the corn. Cut this blight. It's closer to the, to, to the other corn there. Now it shouldn't spread anymore. That's unfortunate, but they'll still get us tons and tons of stuff. All right, uh, Huntsman. You know what? I'll let you get your recreation up. It's It'll be important. Okay, this needs to be set as, like, prisoner, so he stops. People stop going in here. And he's still going to do this anyway. Yeah, good. Uh oh. Food poisoning, that's not good. Mmm. That's a little problem. I just look look over, we just have like ton of animal bodies. That's a little problematic. Um <clears throat> You're just sitting here playing poker forever. Um, let's have you mine some instead. How about that, lady? I'll give her something to do. Caveman's also got nothing to do. That's fine. They can. I mean, it's fine if they just hang out, but like. All right. What is? Uh, Diva's not bad at intellectual. I, I'm fine with her being like a kind of a, a pinch hitter for that kind of stuff. Um, all right, one of these uh, spellopedes are just kind of like hanging around here. I would like to um, maybe have that not happen. Punk ass bug. Stop moving. It keeps like moving just outside of our my range. Like this is that's not ideal. Son of a bitch. Well, it's a little more hurt now. Um, is it like, oh, it's fleeing. What's its move speed? Oh, you're slow. I could just kite you. Oh, the, bu the other bugs are coming. <laughs> Whoopsie. this thing going oh uh, this one's probably been drawn to our trap hallway now or maybe not I don't know I could probably have huntsman come down here and just go shoot it We can, set the, we can set these as preferred. That way, if I need to get rid of meals, like um, like these ones need to go away because I don't know which if any of them are contaminated now because 
all of our eight some and got sick. And I don't want people to get sick, so we're probably gonna have to scrap all this food. So let's find a, we'll, we'll put a, uh, kind of a specific, specifically this spot out here. On the ground, and then forbid the meals so that people don't eat them, and then have a uh, huntsman cook some fresh ones that aren't dirty. Why can you hold them, but he can't? You know what? Whatever. It's it's fine. Where's, where the hell were you at? I have a feeling Lady grabbed one of these. Where, where'd you go, Lady? Oh, you're mining. I, I, I did tell you to do that, but I want you to come over here and, oh yeah, that's right. I made these, uh, ca these turn these into carrier uh, thingies now. So they just haul stuff around the base. Nope. Damn it. Put it back. Bad. Okay, so those are all accounted for. He can now go cook some more new ones. And now you're gonna cook. Your no star t stargazing time is over. <laughs> um, where are all the bugs? That's a turtle. Well, there's one of them. It's kind of just wandering off on its own. The rest are up here. So that... In four hours, it's going to make more bugs, which is not ideal, but we might just wait until... Um... Genevieve openly... In... That's rude. Why you got to be like that, Jenny? <laughs> clean in here it's it's dirty in here but that shouldn't matter oh no 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 um I need you to make some more meals real quick for other people to consume. Mm, nah, no thank you. <laughs> Game is trying to like bribe me with little gifts to go do shit that I don't want to do. I'm just like, mm, no. If 
thankfully these hives are a, a oh god it just squirted out a whole bunch of uh, bugs <laughs> that's un what are you what are you doing huh all right weird weird thing there little bug Yeah, we're gonna need to uh, get a sniper, a good, sn a good strong sniper rifle or two, so we can kill these things at a distance. Cause you do not want them to get close; they do a lot of melee damage. But yeah, we're gonna have all of our. Uh... <laughs> Why is our throw up here? Uh, drop your. Um... Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. He has a. Why is the throw up here? He has fucking food poisoning. Come on, Olabar. You're you'll be you're gonna be okay. I've had food poisoning before, and it's pretty much exactly like this. Like it, it's pretty accurate. Lots of, lots of throwing up, lots of just misery. Like I felt like I was gonna fucking die. Hello, Dino Slinky. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping in. We're we're playing more Rim World and uh. Poor Olabar here is just throwing up everywhere because he somehow got food poisoning. Although we have a very sterile kitchen, he somehow got dirty cooking area, but whatever. Hey, that's okay. It's basically a, a torture simulator or just kind of a storybook. It's like a storyteller kind of game where, like, you pick a storyteller and based on how you're, what you're playing or what you're doing, different events can happen and you can, like, learn tech and build a base like I've got in a way kind of but it's a little bit more open ended cuz um like there's stuff stuff can happen like uh like just whatever stuff can like right now we've got this uh this infested these infested ship chunks just full of these f wonderful insects that crash on our map and they get, and every so often these make more bug hives, which means more bugs. <laughs> so we're um, working on making, uh, getting the tech for sniper rifles so that we can make a sniper rifle, so we can shoot things from much farther away than we currently can. Cause <laughs> send the sick people. Totally, totally good idea. <laughs> All of ours only temporarily sick with food poisoning, although. I've had food poisoning before, and it feels like you're just gonna be sick forever and ever and ever. Like it, it just, it just doesn't feel great. He's just blowing chunks all over the storeroom now. Blah. <laughs> all right, go to, go to bed, Huntsman. Go to sleep. Sleepy time. Yeah, he's, just, he's going for a walk. He's still. Suffering. What the hell is this? What this bear doing? It it, it killed a bison and got kind of got its ass kicked a little bit. Only bruises though, so probably one of these bison over here. It, but yeah, it kind of it's it you can kind of do whatever you want in this game almost like it's nuts like. It can be just really evil and like kidnap people and like harvest their organs and sell them on the black market for money. Um, <laughs> you can be a cannibal if you really want to. Like it's pretty open ended. For for better or for worse. <laughs> All right, let's give her some more to mine that I've kind of uncovered a bit more in the wall. This playthrough, I'm trying to be uh, kind of reasonable, reasonably decent people. Oh yeah, we got we have we have some uh, donkeys that are just <laughs> do, doing what donkeys do best: make more donkeys. Like they're constantly just being pregnant and not pregnant, and just <laughs> squirting out little baby donkeys every so often. Eating hay, eating kibble, just having having the time of their lives.
Vionard, that's great. That's uh, kind of a horrifying sculpture. She's getting her enrichment in before she goes back to the research lab. Uh. That said, though, we are pretty close to, like, this progress bar shows how close we are to finishing this research here. What is a neural supercharger? Construct neural supercharger devices. Neural superchargers improve consciousness and learning rate, but they also increase hunger and the effect must be refreshed daily. Transhumanists often hold neural supercharging as an important practice. Good for them. But after we get this, we're going to be trying to get this multi-analyzer research next because that will improve... Um, uh, researching for other things so it's just smart to kind of do that what's you're hauling some more steel from down there we have these little critters hauling stuff too these little like little plant monsters just kind of one things and we got this dude he's playing the I think he's the, the, the dude with the food poisoning is, is also our colony's a uh, plant tender Okay, Huntsman is awake. Research is not happening. Oh, yeah, it's because she's breastfeeding uh, the child. The the newest DLC added uh, child rearing and genetics, so now it's even now things are even more complicated. Like, I mean, Olbar's genes aren't per that complex. He's just a normal human. Now, let's see. Let's look at Diva's genes. Yeah, she's she's got a little bit more going on, like super immunity, which. Honestly, if we could if we could spread that to our other colonists, that'd be amazing. Let's see. Uh, she's also uh, got lungs that are immune to toxic gas and makes it to where she's immune to toxic environments. Like if like a nuke if a nuke goes off and it starts having fallout all over the, our map, she can just run around and she don't care. Uh, she's just aggressive. Uh, no, no wonder she gets into so many fights. Unattractive? Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, wake up impervious. Psychite dependency. She needs a certain kind of drug in her system. Or she doesn't do very well. Inter in they added a lot of interesting stuff with the whole genetics system. In the newest DLC. Like, if you're in as deep as I am with this game at this point, yeah, it's definitely worth the time to, uh, kind of get the DLC if, if you play the game enough. Uh, let's... How about you cut some animals up so you can make some more food? Okay, you cut up a donkey. And a squirrel. Alright, well, that's not a lot. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I think she's almost done. You're so cl you're so close, Genevieve. Come on, please. Yes. And then we'll we'll start that. But in the meantime, let's find our. Is it this one? You can make a lot of stuff here. Let's see: revolver, and auto pistol, machine pistol. Incinerator launcher, smoke launcher, which you can use to kind of gamely cheat up your shooting skill by just shooting your smoke launcher at your own colonists. It doesn't make them mad or anything. All right, Genevieve here, since she's very good at also she's very good at crafting too. Gonna have her make a sniper rifle. It's the Huntsman, who is our best shooter by a, a good margin. All right. I, I can show off the whole um, training your, your shooting skill on your own colonist thing real quick with D.Va, because I've been using it to grind up her shooting a little bit. You just kind of target your colonist uh, with what the person has the smoke launcher on, and they'll just... <laughs> just makes a bunch of smoke. And your shooting skill gets a bit of... Ah, uh, that's the other bug hive. I made another... It reproduced itself. It squirted it out over here. Probably made a few more bugs, but... 
I feel like once we get a good sniper rifle made, we'll be able to start taking these these hives out more easily from much greater distance, and maybe we could have two of them so we can take it out even faster. But yeah, just being able to shoot from a di long distance is gonna make this our lives even our lives easier. Okay, it's not much XP, but it's very easily obtained XP. <laughs> it's very silly. And it makes a lot of smoke. <laughs> I'm curious to see if this would work on the donkeys too, because they go even less places. It does work on donkeys too. While the donkeys are asleep, we'll just we'll just shoot them with smoke launcher rounds. Go eat some food now. Alright, you need to go eat some- you need to go take care of yourself. Consume some food first and then breastfeed. That'd probably go a little better. Now, I don't- I don't have the capacity to, to really breastfeed as myself. So I don't know much about it, but I can imagine you probably don't want to do that when you're really hungry. It probably wouldn't go very well. Little bean here, I think, once they hit three years old. Which might actually be soon. I think they'll be able to actually eat food or, or baby food, like, more normally. No longer inspired surgery. That's that's fine. I'm sh I'm sure we'll survive. Oh yeah, we've got Sasuke and Naruto, our two donkeys, donkey boys. <laughs> because why why wouldn't they be named something like that? Is MJ not oh MJ still too young to be uh, pregnant but like one more day and they won't be <laughs> was cold the children cold younglings Each baby donkey's like 39 meat. May not sound like much, but I mean, it's just kind of extra stuff. Okay, and these will just continue degrading until they're gone. Because some of these are uh, infected with food poisoning, so we don't want people eating them. <laughs> a, a dicker named Marconi. I read that as macaroni. <laughs> A digger named Marconi is crushed in a transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he'll be badly wounded. Let's see what macar. If if I were to recruit you, I would rename you Macaroni because that's just too funny. Uh, let's see. Thirty-four years old. Okay, that's not too old. Uh, undergrounder, bisexual, good at mining and social. Mm, unfortunately, we don't really need somebody with those talents. If they had animals, I would take them, but they don't. They don't have like a. Like the pat, like single passion means they learn a skill at a hundred percent speed, which is usually what you're looking for in someone for stuff. And if they have double passion, they learn it much quicker. Which, yeah, it's like fifty percent faster. So, it's ideal to have these, but it's definitely fun to have these. And in some cases, you can kind of just get by with not not having them, but you usually don't want to. 
So unfortunately, this is not a very good colonist, so we're going to let them uh, just uh, take a nap down there. And they'll, when they wake up, they'll be in the next life. Okay, where's now you're gonna go eat you just ate some food, you're gonna react socially, and then I'm gonna make you go work on that sniper rifle some more, cause really need to get that so we can start dealing with these um bugs. And frankly I might have her um make another one afterwards. Uh, let's cut up a few more animals. Because that's why Huntsman's not making more food, which is not great. We have like six food left. Matter of fact, while we're at it, we'll up the limit of how much food we have on hand to 28. Which is. Like each person usually use, does like two meals a day. So having a full thing of that is, means we could have like 14 people, but having extra food's never a bad thing in case something goes wrong, you know? Oh, bug hive reproduce again? Yeah, there's, there's a few bugs up here. I'm not super happy about that, how many there are now, but I'm hoping that we can, um, once we get the sniper rifle made, we can uh, deal with them. All. I'm likely going to try dealing with the hives themselves, because then we can just kind of deal with the bugs on our own time. But with these hives sitting here they are gonna just keep reproducing more and more and more and then until it was untenable as it is there's like seven of those like seven of those and like so there's a lot there's a lot of bugs plus side though is that make this takes a long time to make so it's getting her lots of crafting skill With each skill level, she'll just get faster at making stuff. I'm probably going to just try to force her to finish making this. Okay, sniper rifle complete. It's infused. A basic decorator. Let's see. Uh, okay, that doesn't really do much for it other than market value, unfortunately. Let's look at the art, though. Let's see. Has an exceptionally long range, great accuracy, and good power. Because it's so unwieldy, other weapons outclass it at close range. Olabar's Betrayer. This weapon bears an artwork of Olabar Chibo trying to light a fire while covered in frost. Olabar's clothes are tattered and worn. Oh, that's a throwback. That's like... Well, uh, not that far back, I guess. Alright, enough, enough of that sleep shit. We got some bug hives to try to kill. Oh, that's a long fucking range. Jeez. I mean, I, I knew it was gonna be, but, like, that's... Hmm. Did I even hit the thing? I don't think I did. I probably just scared a bunch of bugs. Well, I definitely did that time. The, the bugs are aware. I think I hit hit it again. Well, that'd be a good way to get rid of those. I just have to make sure the bugs uh, don't get me. Because they're coming.
Great. The... Some of your fine meal there, and is being well fed. Uh, might as well f feed him while you're up still. I might see. I might try to sneak a uh, huntsman around here and take a shot at this bug from a distance. Have him uh, escape and get back inside. We got a whole little. We got a whole fucking army of little fucking bugs coming after us now. Ooh, maybe I don't want to get. S uh oh, this could be bad. Um, hopefully that bear is not. Uh, bear's still asleep, so it might be able to get by. That bear is hungry. Communicated thoughts about childhood loves. Well, that's great. Seems like the bugs are kind of going to be heading their way back to the hives when they're not asleep. destroy this one if I can get a good shot off on it technically you can get one from here let's see if I can get a shot on off on it missed it but they're all scared now if I hit it they're probably gonna yeah I don't think I hit it that time either oh I, I see this bug kind of approaching from there all right Huntsman you're gonna need to uh, run If I can drag them all through my trap hallway, that'll probably get rid of a lot of them. Or at least a good amount of them. Okay, I should be able to get through easy enough. Wait, even. Oh, that fellow one's scooting. All right, time to go, time to scoot yourself there, uh, buddy, buddy old pal. Don't worry, I didn't think of this sooner. Just drag them through here and do a lot of my traps. Because now the trap is set, they're gonna kind of they should they should go through this trap hallway because they should be able to get to me. S some of them might, maybe. I was hoping they would. 
what I can do instead is um, go um, keep popping out and shooting at them with the sniper rifle and maybe kill a few of them. It's kind of just making them spread around. It's not really doing me much good. Well, this is proving to be a bit more of a problem than I was expecting it to be. Okay, I need to I need to make Huntsman go specifically where I. get him back into the area so he'll do normal stuff like eat food or whatever because yeah I think the bugs are all just kind of heading back to the hive yeah that's a turtle <laughs> eh, don't care um, let me look at our our roofs and then Assign some more mining out. That'll give Lady something to do when she's not cleaning, busy cleaning dirt. <laughs> Let's see. You're making bricks. Yeah, you know that's fine by me, honestly. I'm gonna have her make another sniper rifle. Jenny make another sniper rifle. Not only get her more skill, which means she'll get faster at making stuff, but. I know there was a bear here somewhere. Okay, it's down here. I mean, it recently just killed this boar, so the bear is not currently gonna be a problem. Genevieve, stop. You already have one. <laughs> oh, Bean has grown. Bean, Baby Bean has grown up to become a child. He's now old enough to do the following work. Patient, bed rest, child care, basic, haul and clean. Oh. Exceptions can be made should Bean remain a tribesman. Don't, don't enslave the child. Um, yeah. Damn, Bean's got like the femboy hair going on. <laughs> As they get older, children gain traits and passions and become able to do more work types. Children have a learning need which can be filled several ways. You can see the learning activities that child desires in their needs tab. <laughs> children will only do learning activities when their schedule is set to recreation or anything. A satisfied learning need helps a child gain growth tiers faster, resulting in more passions and choices during growth, growth moments. Children can only wear special child size apparel. Children become adults at age 13. By default, children age four times faster than adults. Okay, so. So, go bean here.
Oh my god, Bean's got a little cowboy hat on. That's kind of cute. And Bean can now consume fine meals and the like. Oh, this is Bean's little bed. Uh, more bugs. Bean's barracks. <laughs> I don't think she can, uh, d don't romance Bean, please. Uh, I don't think breastfeeding's on the menu anymore, so she might get pregnant again. Um, uh, well, that's great. Uh, alright, Bean, um. The bisexual child, of course. Sleepy time for Bean. Well, that's a few more um, components than I was really hoping to use for this sniper rifle, but. No, oh, you're. Oh. You're. Dude, I'm so, I feel a little bad about that one. They've just been laying there for a while now. It's like, ooh. I was hoping you would just bleed out and be and pass away pretty quickly, but no, you're just kind of laying there suffering. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, oh, silver, nice. I'm trying to see if I can find some more components stuck in the wall somewhere around here. Dead turkey. That's why there's a dead turkey. Okay, I was like, why? Oh, there's just a random dead turkey here. There's some haunts. Let's look at where the predators are on the map. <sighs> the fucking murder otters are down here. Uh, let's see. Grizzly bear is up near the base. Warg is up here next to the buffaloes. Cougars down there and the lynx is over there and then red fox is just kind of over here vibing next to some skeletons. Um, which means none of them should be over here so we might be able to have a lady go mine these components to get us just some breathing room. Yeah, shouldn't take shouldn't take she's got a skill up, so it shouldn't take quite as long for her to um I'm gonna send her off to do this. And watch her very carefully, because I don't want like her to get attacked by a bug or something. Or hunted for food. That kind of stuff tends to happen when I'm not paying attention, and then I always just get screwed over horribly by it. But yeah, it'd be nice to have these components in our stock room. Oh, well, aren't you just a, a lovely little critter? Oh, there's another bit here. Sorry, lady. Just figured you might as well get it while you might as well just grab them all while it's here. Okay, that's reserved for by a, a hauling dryad. That's fine. All right. 
Let's get you back indoors. Starvation. Oh, you've just been literally just doing this and nothing else. ADHD have an ass. <laughs> just, do, just doing nothing but... Y'all need warm... Oh my, how are you not... Get inside, you little bastard. How are you not de How did the bugs not eat you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you are going immediately on raid defense, so you don't do that again. <laughs> little fucker. <laughs> I was like, wait. I was like, I was like, wait, who? I have a feeling the be the bugs woke up when they saw Bean running away and decided to um, try investigating. Low thirteen shooting. Okay, let's uh Why are you now it's fleeing? I mean, if it's running away, if it's fleeing, you might as well just. Oh, never, never mind. Get out of there. The bugs are coming. Ugh, God. The problem is gonna just get worse and worse. <laughs> There's just bug juice everywhere. What are you doing? I don't know if I've ever seen bugs doing that. They just like break random like mountain walls. That's weird. Why are they like this? Yeah, I'm trying to, I want to specifically try to take out uh, this, um, this hive, not, not that. I think this hive is almost dead. Like another shot or two. And it'll... Ooh. Scare them all away.
You know, we're gonna try the whole, um, trap thing again. Just to get them to come through my trap hallway. Because that would, uh, reduce a lot of the pain in the assery of dealing with these hives, is killing these bugs that way instead of... And... Uh, Meaning, Olabar needs to get his hap, his gay ass over here. <laughs> Did he give up? Oh, come on, really? Y'all aren't much. Y'all aren't any fun. At least, the, at least some of them didn't quite give up yet. Really? You're gonna make me do something stupid, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna make me do something s foolish. Like, get uncomfortably close to these bugs and just shoot one of them and then... And then run for the fucking hills, cause oh, they got their attention again. I don't think that's all the bugs, but there's definitely less. There we go. I forgot to set her area back to raid defense. Nope, back back inside you go, lady. Let's keep you on hand in case something go things go south here. Cause there's an awful lot of these bu bugs. And these wooden traps aren't doing shit. Uh oh. I may have made a mistake. Well, I mean, <laughs> admittedly, this is a good excuse for me to, um, I wish these weren't doing what they're fucking trying to do right now. Okay, you know what? That was enough traps. Okay, that, that was, that, that killed most of the bugs. Don't know if I really want these bug corpses, but, mmm. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, how many bugs are left? Five of those. Five of 
five of those. Uh, there's still an uncomfortable amount of bugs. Um, Freaking all of our smoking weed. <laughs> He's like, fuck this shit. I'm bored. But yeah, that wasn't a, an I that wasn't an ideal uh, situation there. Um We got the meat. <laughs> Hello, Cloudy. <laughs> uh, okay, let's. Admittedly, we did need to get rid of a lot of these wood spike traps, and well, we, we certainly did. Okay, this mega spider's not quite dead, but it's not able to move, I don't think. Well, Diva's gonna be a busy little bee with all these traps made of bone, because those, uh, they almost got through our trap hallway, because a lot of them are still wood. <laughs> hey, whoa! Thanks for choosing to spend some of your Saturday with me. Appreciate ya. Gonna have Olabar go around and finish off the mega spiders that aren't quite dead yet. You screeched again? Oh, was the main story for 14? It's got you screeching. Hopefully you're hopefully you're enjoying it at least <laughs> screeching or otherwise that got rid of a lot of the problem critters One thing we can do with all of this um, 
all these insects is we can turn use their meat to turn it into kibble. Because the an animals won't care. But our people won't want to eat insect meat. Need her to do that. And we probably have Huntsman go out and try to kill another one of the hives out there. Cause we got some but we got some insect hives up here and they've been reproducing because there's just a lot of bugs and as more hives reproduce they make more but that more bugs just kind of come out of the new hives and it's just it gets incrementally worse so I've just gotta have to I just have to try to nip it in the bud Uh, let's look at our weapons ranges and see Forty cells or more so way far out here There's a 43% hit chance honestly, I'll take that Oh, this could get... Oh, they're coming from that direction, so this... Perhaps I should hold off on what I'm doing now. Mm, nah. Oh boy! Your colonists can feel it in the back of their mind, exhorting unspeakable acts. It must have an onboard machine persona with psychic projection ability, and this persona is not friendly. Destroy it as soon as possible, where it will probably defend itself. Jeez. Oh goody! We've... Thankfully, it's a low drone, so it's not the end of the world, but like. <sighs> We're still dealing with this problem. We don't need. Oh, yeah, I destroyed that hive. Oh, I killed a little one. Let's have him get back inside. And hopefully they'll just kind of go back to their hive or something. Or they're gonna they might wander around and go bother these people, which would be really unfortunate. Nah, I think they're gonna I think they're going back. Um Where's I need her to work on some of these traps because we might uh, be inviting these scythers in for uh, a visit. Caveman is our best uh, speaker, so let's find who to. Which which one of y'all do I talk to? Oh, it's you. Where are they going? I wish I knew. I think we'll probably have to hold off on shooting at the bugs until these people leave. Because I'd rather not have them uh, get hurt and then us lose 
alliances and stuff with them because that would be bad. I don't need more enemies right now. Come here, Tony. What do you got? Let's see. EMP shells, talk shells, te tech, tech print for jump packs, uh, gene pack heavy jaw. That's great, I guess. Sure. Uh, you bone gladius, which we could buy. Steel longsword, steel spear, burn gauntlet, plasma sword. That sounds pretty cool. Targets are sliced by the middle core as well as the burnt or ignited by the sheath. Uh, Zeus hammer. Whew. A war hammer with an embedded EMP capacitor. Upon impact, it blasts the target with an EMP burst in addition to. Damn, that's cool. Let's see. A whip. Alright. Flamethrower. That sounds like it'd just be a. A light machine. A glitter tech glittering basic modified LMG. <laughs> that's a lot of words. Medical uniform coat, cataphract armor, very good armor, but very expensive. Hmm. Now, Zeus Hammer would be a good weapon for someone. I think for now we'll just sell off this Ambrosia stuff. I don't know where the money went. I guess up here. Um, I don't know where these people are, are going. just hanging out up here I mean I don't think the bugs are gonna bother you look at all this delicious insect jelly though mmm yummy <laughs> totally worth the time oh yeah bean is a small child now <laughs> it's like a like a fucking thimble with a head and a hat <laughs> Oh, well, they, they may have decided to solve the problem for me. <laughs> what's, what's your deal? Oh, the, oh, jeez. That drone's pretty powerful. No wonder you're in a, a bad way. Um... <clears throat> Jeez, I have to go smoke some weed. <laughs> They may uh, be uh, solving our bug problem for us. I 
I didn't want to get them involved with it, but... Did they kill most of the bugs? Not most of them, but they, they definitely spooked them. I think when they do actually hit one of these hives, it's going to make the bugs mad at them, and then the bugs will come after them. They'll probably just kill the bugs, because they've got a lot of people. Maybe now is a good time to go after the bugs. The bugs have decided that they uh, are not happy about this turn of events. Maybe. Oh, yeah, they, they've definitely... Uh... Oh, it's get, it's get, it's going down. <laughs> Oh, it's got- they're throwing down. They're- <laughs> they're throwing down with these fucking bugs. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> people are just dying everywhere. Bugs are dying. That's a grenade! <laughs> people are on fire. They're just not having a- A great time. Um... Well, there's leaves like two entire of these things left alive. And there's like fires everywhere, so a lot of this stuff's gonna probably burn, but I, I don't care. Their pack alpaca is going up there for some reason. Don't, don't know why it's doing that, but um, yeah, that's a... Uh, What a mess. All right, well, they decided they aren't are not uh, pleased with uh, these bugs existing in this mortal fucking plane and they're just going to town on all this stuff. See if we can rescue this person at the very least. The oh, huntsman catching on fire. Well, I think they uh, solved my bug problem for me. Unfortunately, most of the um, stuff is just gonna burn, but at least the bugs are gone. I might even get to keep some of the insect jelly, but that's so that's nice. <laughs> what a what a shit show. Um, Really? That's what's gonna that's what's gonna make you unhappy? The bugs killed like five or six of your people. But so that's fine. But then like something exploding that's not even my fault blows up and now they're mad. 
Oh, not mad, but they're not as happy with me. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Hey, lady, I'm gonna need you to wake up and help this person not be dead real quick. All right, cool. Well, that's one problem taken care of, and hey, it's a rainy thunderstorm, so we might, be, we might let's see what's left behind. Oh, we got to keep some of the some components, uh, some insect jelly. All right. I'll mark these all to haul. And the little critters will probably get to it. The little hauling uh, animals that I have. Yeah, that was a that was a freaking um. I need you to be helping build this because once I can um another ambrosia sprout. Well, let's go ahead and set an area for it. Alright, and that's just extra free money that'll just kind of happen every so often. So that's kind of cool. Um, smoke launcher. Where'd that other... Um, sniper rifle go? Didn't uh, we make that somewhere? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll worry about these, um... I, th I think these are dormant because this is just gonna sit in here. So, we can activate them, them whenever we are ready. I'm more than happy to let these little, uh, I'm more than happy to let these little critters run around and grab all, like, the bug corpses or whatever. Well, that has, uh, used up a significant amount of our bones. Not all of them, honestly. Uh, what's Huntsman doing? He's smoking weed. He got high, and now he's gonna cut up some animals to get some meat. <laughs> Should almost be done, I would imagine. Yeah, it's almost ready to harvest. That's good. It'll give us a lot, a lot more food. Turn this back on so I can see the sterile, the sterileness. All right. And once they once they get all fixed up, uh, Fauna here will leave, and we'll get we'll probably we'll get some uh, reputation back with that faction that we lost from uh, their person dying. 
Although it was, was not our fault. Yeah, that psychic drone's not doing her any favors. Um, so I really need her to build more of these traps. Like, at least the ones we have the ability to actually, um, work on. Like I was saying, it's probably gonna be more s Another one? This is just a lot going on right now. <laughs> There's still a fire up here. Hmm. Fall has begun. Okay. Caboose is get I have not been paying attention to these animals. Um... Kill them for meat. Excuse me, what? When the fuck that happen? How cold is it out? Oh, freezer. What are you wearing? Well, no shit, you took off your freaking, um... You took off your duster, you fool. No wonder you're freezing to death. Uh. Yeah, maybe you should uh, wear some clothing that keeps you w warm, you dingus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Go pick your damn gun back up. And then go to eat some food and then go to sleep. Fool. <laughs> okay, you're asleep. I have not been paying attention to, the, to this child. Uh, let's see, how's your... Your learning is not doing so hot. Work watching. Follow an adult and watch them as they work. This gives experience and skills. Childlike joy. New, fun, pretty, ooh. Parents are happy. Comfortable. Learning deprived. I want to learn more about all sorts of things. This place is boring. Do I have some sort of hat that this child can wear to keep warm? And probably not a fedora. I have to put on this toque since I guess you're cold or something. Weird child. Let's look at this children thing again, because, um... You can see the learning tabs, that, learning activities that child desires. Recreation or anything. So being right now is just willfully just not learning anything, because they're just cleaning, I guess. I don't fucking know. Bean, get your shit together.
a group of poor children are approaching looking for help. <laughs> Why did you eat kibble? What the fuck? Why did you... <sighs> I didn't think she would actually, someone would actually eat fucking kibble. We have food, what is your problem? That's a you problem. Didn't you just give birth, Caboose? <laughs> you're like a freaking you're like a freaking Holiday Inn. Just you got you got people in and out there all the time. Um, murder. Alright, thankfully, I was able to have Caveman use his powers as our leader to counsel D.Va about being a dumbass and eating kibble. <laughs> so her mood will at least improve a little bit. But yeah, the psychic drone is really screwing us up, but we've, we've made about as many of these as we can really... Oh, these children have picked a very awful place to, to show up. Cause we're we're about to aggro these. Okay, you've got your sniper rifle and you also have your sniper rifle. Wait till Huntsman finishes that food there, and then we're gonna have them uh come and um we're gonna go um say hi to the psychic ship. Thing is pretty strong. We're probably gonna need to. Uh, Things I don't know if there's more of these than what is visible. Well, it's still dormant, so we must not have hit it. Well, they woke up. All right, get back inside, uh, kids. I hope you're. Um, I hope you know how to fight mechanoids. <laughs> Holy crap, you just destroyed that child's head? Yep, it's gone. Traveler's betrayed. 
Oh no! Anyway. I mean, I didn't mean to do this, but we... Oh, they're cheap. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Well, all right. <laughs> all right, Huntsman, go, go um, go get their attention again, I guess, because they got. Sorry, child. <laughs> oh, this game is just does not care. Damn it, why are you being like this? Alright, Diva, go back to doing something else, because you're not having a great time. They break like line of sight and they just give up. I might have, I might just have to kill these things themselves instead of drag them into my traps. What is this? Timber. Oh boy, timber wolf. My, you love to see that, huh? I mean, if I get far enough away and they just kind of give up, then yeah, I can kind of just pick these off at my leisure. That one might not give up so easily, though, because I actually hit it. Yeah, this one's probably going to just come to our traps and die. No, it's, I think it's leaving. Right, you need to get your uh, raid defense thing back on, because we're doing... Un <laughs> We're doing stupid shit. Is that one dead? Or is it sleeping? I, I don't know what... I think it just took a big hit from our trap and then just like, gonna run away. <laughs> Why am I mean? Maybe I can actually just shoot this one.
I'm playing, a, I'm doing a little, um, a little sketchy here. Whew. I think this thing real is like, wait, why am I doing this? This is, this is foolish. Okay, it's gonna round the corner before I can get another shot off on it. Well, they are slowly but surely um, just taking taking traps to the face. We can just get another pot shot off on this one. Oh, that's not, that's unfortunate, honestly. Try this angle. Okay, maybe I should be going from the top angle like I was previously. It's probably smarter. Oh, I hit one. Let's try hitting it again. They're in, they're in various states of disrepair because some of them have like gone, oh that was a child. Some of them just kind of run through the traps. This is the healthiest one. I think these two have went through a trap apiece. Well, let's see if this one will maybe go through one trap and die. Oh no, that one's trying to go through the door. <laughs> It almost got through that door. Uh, let's repair this door with you. What's your deal? Oh, you've just been standing there for no good reason. Sorry. What is, what is that on the floor? Oh, floor drawing. <laughs> oh, Bean, you little scamp. Uh, how's your... Your learning is so bad, I, I don't know how to get them to do that. Adult assigned to child care will teach about various topics. Okay, well hopefully that makes sense or something, I, I don't really know. Children are, children are complicated. How about you, um... Children are complicated. That's just easy. Probably not new information, honestly. Alright, go back to go eat and stuff. Crash ship part is now emanating a more powerful kind of psychodrone. Every 
Yeah, we gotta get rid of that thing soon because it's the, the drone got just got worse. Oh, Jesus Christ! Minus forty. No, we need we need to focus on getting these uh, mechanoids dead so we can destroy the drone. What are you what are you wearing that's ta tattered? Take it off. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my clothing's shitty. Well then take it off. No. Well then suffer. No. <laughs> uh All right, Diva. We're, we're we're trying to do th we're trying to get like stuff happen here. Not not like that. Bastard. It's raining too, so our accuracy is just worse. So I'm gonna have her go this way. And maybe I can have her peek around the corner and shoot at these. be great if you could hit something diva that'd be uh, super useful let's have you run away some more cuz Frank I'm surprised she's not lost her goddamn mind yeah let's get her back inside I can't be having oh great well this uh, Timberwolf's now gonna just fight uh, Scythers I guess It might actually be able to kill one of them, which would actually be super nice for us. Yeah, you go back and try to take care of yourself. Okay, yeah, I don't think this Timberwolf is going to be doing much, much help. It, yeah, well, it didn't really try. It was just kind of... Uh, We we got we gotta kill this shit. There's no it's getting worse and worse and worse as it just sits here. <clears throat> the rain not helping either because our accuracy is off. What do you No, you get you get your uh raid defense thing back because you're too you're in a bad state. Oh, I just hit him. Oh, I mean, you hit him. Hit him again. Hit him again. That one's pretty hurt now. Oh, that was the one that was in good health, too. 
Damn it! All right, Huntsman, go uh, run away. You're probably faster than it is now, anyway. Uh, 2.54 versus. Yeah, you're faster. If I see them lose interest, I'll have them turn around and start shooting. Although, I'll probably have them stop here and try to get a shot off and maybe kill one of them. Nope. Missed. Keep going. <laughs> Okay, let's then return to our spot here and try to to get a shot off. Extreme, yeah, she's uh, not having a great time. Um, admittedly, the minus forty is kind of doing her some uh, doing her some strife. I'm frankly surprised she hasn't gone like a killing spree or something like that. If it gets bad enough, they they will do awful, awful shit like that. If they're, like, that desperately mooted or whatever. Come on. It, it's... less than a coin flip, but that still should be really are you serious right now? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Alright, back up for now. Let it kind of get some space again, and then we'll head back over and get some more shots off. Or at least try, because... Yeah. Oh, well, it's clear now, so hopefully our shots will be a little better. I mean, you kind of hit it. It's really slow. So hopefully we can hit it ne next time. C come on, Huntsman. This thing is taking a fucking beating. Alright, we killed one. Now we gotta go kill the others. Which, if we get lucky, we can just kind of end up in one shot. Let's shoot this fucking thing. That'll get their attention. Maybe. I'm I'm a little tense right now because of this, because um, they they can have a very violent uh, mental break in the extreme, and I can't do anything about it right now because um, this. What is Bean doing? Floor drawing? Are you like learning something maybe? Oh, the bar is a little higher than z fucking zero, so. All right, let's try another shot. Oh, you hit him. Give him another another go. Alright, now you gotta run. Things will get you. 
Well, for, for their sake, I hope that they're not, um... I don't know where they're going. There's just fire down here. You know what? Whatever. Okay, that one's dead too. That means there's one more that's just kind of hanging out down here, and then we can kind of just come kill this thing. I don't know if this thing explodes when it's taking all of its health. It probably does, let's be real. So I should probably get some grenades or something when it's time to dispose of it. Okay, get some more damage to you. All right. Well, that was that one was a lot easier to kill than the other fucking two. All right, you go back to whatever. You eat some food, and I'm gonna have him go try to melee attack this fucking ship thing, cause. I'm frankly surprised that uh, What's-Her-Face hasn't gone off the fucking wall yet. Okay, you're almost done healing, so then you'll be leaving us. It's fine. Yeah, let's get this fucking psychic ship thing taken care of, because it's... Yep, just speaking of speaking of which, you're gonna leave the map. Oh, you're making quick work of that old bar. Diva, no! Don't! You're gonna dig up freaking <laughs> Lemur's corpse and just display it around the base, you fucking weirdo. At least it's not something violent. And I'm freaking surprised that she didn't break much sooner. All right, Olabar, it's time. It's time to leave. The Lynx, a Lynx is coming for you. He might have to fight this lynx. Alright, Olabar. Don't die. Good job, Olabar. You you killed a lynx, and you're gonna start bleeding out, so no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um not great. Yeah, that's usually the danger of doing stuff too far from your bases. Fucking predators deciding that it's time to snack on you. And for now, I'm going to keep everyone on raid defense until we can clear this out and kill the predators on the map because I'm tired of shit like that happening. Motherfucker. You could have eaten this corpse right here. It's perfectly good. Punk ass cat. Death in five hours. Hopefully we can get him back before that. Diva's still just Where where did you leave the where did you leave the corpse? Do I wanna know? 
put lemur <laughs> put lemur on the fucking kitchen table. You son of a bitch. Bean, how about you um put her back? Thanks, kiddo. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, oh, bar buddy, are you, you going to make it in? I mean, your blood loss is, like, minor, so we should be able to get him in and patched up in time. <clears throat> and Lady's going to need to... Um, Olabar, I, I don't know what you thought you were about to do, Olabar, but it's not what you're doing right this fucking second, I promise. Okay, you need to get up and get ready. No, no going back to bed. You got, you got a bit of a problem limping through the door here. <laughs> And that's why I moved to medicine, too, because... Alright, he's fine now. He'll be fine. Fuck you, Lynx. Well, on that note, uh... What is... What are you doing still? Corpse obsession, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that that psychic drone is a real uh, a real stinker, huh? I'm gonna need you to wake up and go finish this fucking ship off because it's causing too many problems for our people. Kill this fucking lynx first of all, piece of shit. I want to move it away from this so if it explodes, it doesn't ruin the corpse. Alright, that's probably fine. One more shot and this should be gone. Advanced component and scrap, steel, and plasteel. Alright, that should mean uh, you are no longer well, you're still gonna be fucked up with the with this. <laughs> like you're still fucked up, but the psychic drone thing should go away soon. doing a heal let's see what she is uh well that's still on cooldown uh which what, what uh she i think she just recovered from her corpse obsession and she knows it's for her creativity for her um her two crafting skill terrible that's recovering pretty nicely and genevieve will recover as well because their, their moods are still locked in from uh, when they had the minus 40. But that's going away, so it's fine. Take these children to Splash Mountain. <laughs> uh, saying things like that has a way different meaning in my base than... 
Uh, let's, uh, haul... Gotta say, I'm impressed with Olabar just going toe to toe with that freaking uh, Lynx. Pretty impressive, honestly. Okay, we got another donkey to a. Um... Oh boy! Oh, oh god, that's pretty close to the base, isn't it? This is... I, I guess they didn't think I had enough mechanoids to f have fun with. A mechanoid combat cluster is landing nearby. The cluster will be initially dormant, so you can take time to decide how to attack it. It may remain dormant until disturbed, or may have a timer or proximity activators. Even dormant mech clusters aren't harmless. Dormant mech, a dormant cluster may assemble mechanoid attackers from time to time, or have some broader negative effect that must be dealt with eventually. Oh boy! What is, what is this? A milter? Small combat mechanoid armed with a low power mini shotgun. Glow shield, a proximity activator was. It acted. If it, if it detects a human like threat nearby, it'll awaken any nearby dormant mechanoids or structures. Oh boy, and this is a climate adjuster. Oh, it's gonna make things colder. Wonderful. I love that. Uh, an auto infer. Jesus Christ. A mini slugger, a uh, mech high shield, a drop pod. Jesus. There's a counter activator ticking down. Prepare no wicked nearby mechanoids. Uh, mech low shield. At... <clears throat> so that's gonna mean we need to, um... Either lure stuff out or get it to or get it to come to us because this mech shield is charge cycle ten. I'm guessing that means it's a uh, in ten. It um, we're not charge in ten days. I don't really know. A mecha so oh boy, a centipede blaster. Wonderful. God, this is so much fun. Uh Jeez, we did not need this right now. Um, don't suppose we can make like an EMP launch or anything like that, because that would uh, let us. Um... Oh, we can. All right. Hey, uh, Jenny. I don't know what you're doing, but you need to you need to switch gears, because if we can um, use the EMP launcher from a distance to disable this. Um, this shield right here that'll let us take out things a little better. Yeah, I need her to uh, make this thing.
What are you still stressed about? Your mood's like on its way to the stratosphere. Because of catharsis. Among other things. Oh, wow, yeah, she got, like, to zero food because she makes some questionable decisions. But I need her to finish this EMP launcher because that might be our ticket to clearing out these mechanoids. It also, it's also really good against mechanoids because it temporarily stuns them. Then you can kind of do what you will with them. Triumph Gray. The work represents the artist's chaos. There's a gunslinger in the lower part of the image. Oh, well, let's see how the gun actually works. Old bar is still on the mend. Rara. Did he like wake up? What, what are you doing? Oh, you were uh, you were you were busy. <laughs> Sorry. How's Bean doing? Floor drawing? How's your stuff doing? I mean, it's doing okay, but. I mean, you can certainly go outside here to do your sky looking or whatever it is. Alright, so. Yeah, the children are strange to deal with. Um, I don't know if I'll ever deal with them again. <laughs> Ending, okay. We're gonna go investigate this um, EMP launcher business. Oh geez, that thing's got a, a pretty long range, don't it?
we might want to build some fortifications nearby to stop it from... I mean, there's some here. But this is going to be a little sketchy. So I guess my order of operations might need to be um, the shield and then have people with sniper rifles try to take out this activator. If just shooting in general doesn't just wake everything up anyway, it might, I don't know. I don't have a lot of experience with dealing with like, mechanoid things like this. What did I stun? The mech shield. Uh, that's not going to disarm it for very long, is it? Hmm, I'm going to need more than one person here for this situation. Oh, mechanoids are awake. Let's leave. We're leaving. Ooh! Oh, God! Well, that, uh, complicates things. Well, that thing's... They're both expired because things are, are awake now. Oh, it's, oh, it's gonna make a goddamn centipede in like 0. .3 days. <laughs> oh, I'm not a... F I'm not a fan. Fortunately, there are some like cave walls nearby. You can try to use this cover, I guess, but... This is not good, because, well, they've got mechanoids. I didn't even see this Lancer. It's going to be fun. Oh, boy. Oh, this spot right here is r like right outside of the range too. I'm guessing this thing can. Um...
They somehow managed to hit that. I mean, if I could destroy this, maybe I should just shoot this instead. Because that would uh, save me a lot of strife. I can just kill this thing. Because they don't seem to freaking notice. Yet. I'm wondering if the sniper rifle bypasses the uh, mech low shield. I'm going to have to look that up. Hmm. <laughs> Look at Reddit, unfortunately, because unfor unfortunately Reddit has a lot of information about RimWorld, and just like the first post to see is like this dude was mourning the death of his wife, and Steve had to intervene. This person named Steve just walks up with a big thumbs down, and is like. Subtly shaming someone's genitals. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Ugh. Because apparently this thing isn't active right now. So maybe it's not actually stopping projectiles. I mean, I, it, it seems like it, because we were able to hit this. At some point. The hit rate is not very high. Oh, it's moving. Alright, we need to back up because that, uh, these robots will fuck us up pretty bad. Where are you going? Bone poke? You're going to go all the way through the traps, aren't you? I mean, if that's what you want to do, alright. I'll let you, I'll let you do that. There's plenty of, there's plenty of traps for you to enjoy. And I have no qualms over letting you uh, sample our traps. Hmm. I think either way, it's probably smart to have uh, someone else with the other sniper rifle so that we can just... Because if we can kill this... And then we can start working on killing this. That's expired. Um, mech node? What is that? So we don't want to hurt this thing. If we can help it, but... This gun is going to make that problematic. <laughs> so we might want to just not... 
How's he, how is your healing going, buddy? Not too bad. Oh, hey, decided, it decided to come back after all. Where's the Lancer? How about you stay here for a second, lady, and be a nice, active target for this Lancer to come die on? All right, y'all are both equipped. Let's get you... Uh, Get you going back to our uh, back to the front lines. Because if I can have them uh, kill off of this before it summons a, a freaking thing, our time's running really short on that. We can um, save ourselves a lot of hassle. All right, that thing is destroyed. That was uh, problematic. Now let's inch forward. Oh. Oof. At the very least, this setup isn't gonna just shed out a bunch of centipedes at us. God, this thing's got such a long range. I, oh, it's got slightly longer range than we do. Shit. Um, let's... If I have her stand here, will it, will it start shooting? No. Hmm. I don't like this fucking thing. That's a, a long ass freaking thing. I think because of this, it's not being able to really see us. I have a feeling we have a better shot of hitting it than it does us, but I didn't want to have it come to this. Of just like a, 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 a slanted firefight. I wonder if we can go th here and get uh, some cover. can. Oof. Two more hits and this will be gone. hit that thing. I want to keep that alive if I can, but 
Oh, one more hit on this guy. I mean, this thing might blow up and kill it, that thing off anyway. So we might just kind of have to take our... We might just have to just kind of suffer through it. Come on, just hit it. Thank fuck. Okay, that's dead. Now let's bo let's we're we're killing we're killing this uh, this shield thing next before it can recharge. Luckily for us, the, um, this thing can't see us. Oh, wow. There's a high shield here. Shield device, which protects, this one is tuned to high angle, so it will block mortar rounds. Okay. Yeah, I just want to kill this low shield, because, yeah. All right. So these things right now are currently, um, how much cover does this provide? 75% effectiveness. Um, if we're careful, we could probably build a wall over here to use as cover of some kind. And maybe, or maybe just, ooh, I don't like this thing. This thing is, a. Uh... I wish I could see how accurate this thing is at a, at a, um. At a range. I'm sure there's some way, but I'm almost, I'm a little stupid. <laughs> Mm. It might be within our best interest to kind of back off a little. Because we got rid of the stuff down here, which is pretty nice. Oh, sorry, I had to chat down. Uh, we, got, we got rid of that stuff, which is good. So it's not going to make any more mechanoids or anything like that. Oh. <laughs> and they got all the other stuff down here. Problem is this thing is going to cause problems. We might be able to go around this way and avoid uh, getting hit too badly and then shoot an EMP thing in there and lock them all up and have someone run in and beat them senseless, but... <laughs> that, that also might so that also sounds like freaking wishful think thinking. Actually, cover effect in this 75, it's about as good as we're gonna ever really get anyway, so we might have to. We might be able to peek around over here and, like, just shoot this thing and only this thing. I'm willing to try it. This is all very much a learning experience for um, me doing stuff like this. Because if we can kill that, we could get within this thing's minimum range and just clobber it.
you gonna shoot or what? We any predators over here? I see like a rotten thing, but oh, you're you're starving. I'm sorry, dude. You get you go home. How about you, Diva? Are you also start? You're you're not much better. All right, let's have. We made some progress. Ooh, let's uh, we made some progress. We're gonna send them home. Let's kind of go down this way and then through here, and we should be able to get away unscathed. All right, they're gonna go home to their safe zone and then they'll eat and that's good uh, progress we got these things are basically useless now we can get uh, some some stuff out of these once we finish everything but we need to kill these two maybe even this as well If you're gonna be a goofball, at least go be a goofball near a table. <laughs> oh, all of ours fully healed. Bean is drawing on the floor. Oh, you got a lot of learning in. Oh, I'm. Whoops. Lady's just been standing there. Whoopsie. I think my plan of attack is going to be going around this way and then go into these walls and try to pop a shot at the slugger turret. Sucks because this is a this steel barricade gives some cover. Just cut up as much. I got some insect jelly. See, it looks like there's like some little donkey still left. Let's uh, let's add to that. <laughs> donkey in, donkey out. <laughs> and there's that damn lynx that Olibar fought with. And we've got to level 20 on intellectual yet again. <laughs> Get him play some poker. Now, now, Diva, I'm gonna have her. We're, we're gonna make an attempt at a 
the thing, the plan I was talking about, have her kind of go around the outside and try to peek around, like, I know one of them is active, I don't, I don't want this fucking thing. Run, Diva. They're gonna shoot at you. They shouldn't be able to hit you very well because they're kind of bad. But ooh, that hit, that came pretty close. How much cover does these give? Fifty. Uh, that's not inspiring. Admittedly, let's kind of test out. Ooh. ooh. <clears throat> if we kill this thing, we could so have someone sneak up within the minimum range of the other thing. Okay, four more hit, three more hits, and this that thing's toast. Two more hits. It's not very accurate. One more hit. Oh, fuck. All right, I gotta get her out of there. I didn't want, I, d I didn't really want any of my people to get hurt. What, where did she get? Ooh, right leg, torso, rib cage, that's not great. That's about as good of a spot as we're gonna get to him. So I'm gonna have her very carefully round this way and head home. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need her to just get Thankful her, she didn't get many wounds, but still just tedious. So let's get her inside and taken care of. <clears throat> Admittedly, it only needs one more shot, so I could probably have Huntsman finish it off. He's been probably cooking for a million years. I think I need to have separate shelves right here, like, like one piece shelves so that I can have one with meat at all times so that this doesn't happen. And it's not the end of the world, but it's just not as effective to do things that way. Devo will be fine.
<clears throat> yeah, once we can get the multi analyzer, we can get fabrication, which will let us start making our own components, which is would be huge. Because right now we're kind of limited on what we can do. Based on how there's so much fire. Thankfully, it's foggy rain, so we'll uh, go out soon. Kind of, I think, hopefully. I'm tempted to have, like, Olabar or someone just go in there and clobber this shit. After he eats food, I'm gonna have him just go do that, because I would have a melee person going and finishing everything off anyway, so... Actually, we'll try something sneaky. So maybe I can have him just throw grenades over the thing and cheesily kill stuff. No, I hope these visitors don't have any plans of going right here. I need line of sight. It might not be close enough to do any damage. No, but this kind of gets around the. Uh, if I can throw it just right. We can have one land right there. Just a little closer, old bar. I believe in you. That should do it. Yes! Alright, all of our time to leave. Time to leave. <laughs> oh, do I need to break this thing too? I mean, alright. I'll, I'll clobber it. Probably probably this and, and this for it to consider this thing defeated. I have a better idea. Let's just, uh, grenade this fucker. That should do. No? Oh, probably this fucking thing. Well, that's simple enough. Just... Oh, just stick to it. Alright, and now we can deconstruct these things for some extra goodies. And these as well, because I don't really want these here. you haul as much of this plasteel as you can get your little mandibles on, buddy. Alright, well. The mechanoids have been dealt with. Cool. Visitors are somewhere.
I need to find the predators on the map and uh, dispose of them because they're gonna become a problem when it gets to winter time. So let's have uh, Huntsman go start bothering this uh, warg. Oh, you can trade. Uh, let's see. They have. They want. They, I wish they could sell me components. I'd buy them in a heartbeat. Uh, let's see. They have medicine, which. I mean, it's better medicine than ours, so I think I'll buy it. Let's see. An awful musket for 12 bucks. Combat handgun for like 2 bucks. Kind of an awful auto pistol. I'm kind of. I want to get rid of some of these bad guns, because. They're not really gonna do much for us. Song of Shotgun might be useful. Um, poor musket, no. Longbow, good. Auto pistol, good, might be s worth it. Bolt action rifle, poor. Uh, assault rifles, good. All the damn medicine. Where's this warg at? There you are, warg. Maybe I shouldn't do this right now, because I don't need to lose any more bon faction bonus with Veristan than I already have, because they'd probably both die. Uh, so, in that case, uh, as you were, Mr. Huntsman there. I might try to hunt something else, though. What do we have over here? A rabbit and... We have wild donkeys. Those would be those would be great to go after. Uh, let's see, wargs over there and the weird um, <laughs> these things, whatever they are, over here. Ibex ram, what happened to you? Oh, it caught on fire. Oh, that's kind of sad. Um, well, let's, um... Let's go hunt these instead. Get some more meat for the fridge. Cargo pods, huh? Well, they got... What are they gonna have? What are you doing? Oh, ambrosia. Nice. I'll mark that to for pickup. Someone will get it, or something rather, because those little hauler things are pretty. Um... Pretty keen. <clears throat> Oh, I, I like moved right past it. Oh, they're fleeing from me shooting. I'm not trying to hunt y'all. Y'all should just do your thing, please and thank you. <sighs> I 
I don't think the sniper rifle is good for just hunting animals. At least not like... I mean, I probably have to be pretty far away for it to actually... The rain's just making life sucky right now because it's like rainy all the time. Uh, shot. Yeah, the weather is like reducing your accuracy by like 50%. Oh, I hit you though. Ooh. Right in the body. Right in your body. <clears throat> Try to anticipate where it's going so we can kind of figure out what to do about ya. Oh, you're not gonna move very far, are ya? You are now. Let's kind of go forward a little bit more. Visitors from Veristan are leaving. Good for you. Ooh, gotcha. Boop. Boop, you're right in the snoot. And you're sleeping really close by. <laughs> I think the farther away I am, the more accurate this gun is going to be. So let's try to just, uh... Maybe not that far away. Kind of curious to just see the hit chance go up. And this rain really fucking sucks. Ibex I was chasing is now gonna chase these people and beat them beat them up. Interesting. Motherfucker. <laughs> what a shit show. Where did that come from? Oh, that's desiccated, doesn't matter. Um well, um, we're not taking those, but that's some of the stuff I sold, so we can technically take that back. Ooh. I'm so I'm I'm sorry, very stand people. But awful things keep happening to you when you come to my map square. I'm sorry. Okay, you're just cleaning dirt. This fucking rain would clear up. I'd be able to like try to. I think I think it's clearing up.
Where are they going? Oh, I was like, do they just like decide to like leave? Maybe. Uh, what's? Oh, he's asleep. What's Diva up to? She's still healing from getting shot in like the rib cage and like the leg by that turret. Okay, fair enough. Of course, she's asleep. Uh, when Huntsman gets up, I'm gonna try to fight this warg. Oh, that one's also mad. What kind of sign area is these little things, huh? Alright. That's cool to know, I guess. No, don't do, don't you dare. This thing's gonna be bleed out soon anyway, but I kinda wanna just get it done and over with.
let's go get, have him get his sniper rifle back. And we'll see if we can have... Ooh, we got some more um, of this stuff coming in now, this Devil Strand. How much do we have? Ooh. We can start trying to make some uh, dusters out of Devil Strand at some point. Very good. Very strong piece of clothing. Works not even that far away, so we might be able to get a nice pot shot on it. But I want to fix this door. Oh, we hit it. Oh, angry. What do we hit? It's fucking spine. Ooh. Well, that might make it... Uh... Yeah, we might be able to just get another shot or two off on this. We hit it in the spine. Wow. God damn. Well, all right. Works for me. Let me just, uh, yoink. We'll just take that in and drop it on. Uh, there's not much else we have. I want to really do outside here right now. There's two more predators on the map. Um, these fucking things that I'm scared to attack. Because they move, they're a little fast. And they're a little, uh... I'm hoping they just leave the map when it comes to winter and there's nothing else on the map for them to hunt. But honestly, I'm surprised they haven't, like, eaten these pigs yet. Maybe they will. They've definitely have done it before, so yeah, these pigs probably are uh, don't are not long for this world. Cause this one, one I think when this thing's hungry, it's like thirty percent or lower. It gets, it goes to hunt something. If I can scoop out any more um, components anywhere, because there's only there's only like two. Um, Did I say do that? No. Oh, it, it died. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? How many you haul that? Bean. <laughs> gonna go haul a dead corpse. All right, buddy. Whatever, whatever you, whatever you want to do, kiddo. Animal disease. Honestly, I don't know if animals really need medicine. I'll still have I'll still use some anyway because we have herbal medicine, but like Yeah, when Lady gets up, I'll ever go tend the dog.
donkeys that got sick. Not that big of a deal. Sleepy little bean. Hmm. Needs bloom. Learning's pretty doing pretty good. I don't strictly know how much learning little critters gotta get. Yeah, in about like 18 minutes, I'll be stopping stream because there might be some storms in the area tonight. And so I'm I'm probably not going to be doing my evening stream unless I can get kind of get the all clear. I just want to be prepared in case I got a freaking. She's no longer she's no longer lactating, which means she's a lot more likely to get pregnant again. Because she got pregnant on avoid pregnancy. <laughs> So, mm. Well, now that I know this part of the map is safe to kind of go around, I can search in in here to uh, find more components. I can scout, scalvage, <laughs> scalvage, scavenge, <laughs> or self <laughs> scalvage. Jesus fucking Christ. Um. Oh, here's some more. I'm lucky this map has just like a decent amount of them because we're not quite at the point where we can make them ourselves out of steel. When that point does come though, Genevieve is going to be a, a busy little bee. That might also be a good opportunity to have a bean like job shadow or whatever. Oh, there's a bit here too. I've been kind of not getting that. Is there some way I can make it to where she carries medicine all the time, maybe? Uh... Oh, yeah, I should. Or she'll all she should always be carrying medicine on her. ones are sick uh, Phantom Sasuke <laughs> uh, 
uh, potpourri and well, all, all the ones laying down looks like other than this child that lady needs to uh, take care of. There we go. Collect the child. Little bar reached level 17 plants. Well, good for you, buddy. He's just he's just planting. Just don't plant things. Uh, I don't suppose we do hay grass in this fucking thing, can we? No, but what we could do is have it to where we get a bunch of uh. I need to set some very specific things to make sure that if I do get some, uh, no insect. Okay, perfect. So that's already set to no insect meat. That's good. So, so we could we could go ahead and start cutting up all these bugs. Corn, 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 corn. <laughs> oh, corn. So these should all not accept insect meat anymore either. Because I want to have a shelf for specifically insect meat right here. So I can use that to make kibble out of the hay. Because it will last a lot. Because you turn 20 hay and a 20 um, insect meat into 50 kibble. So you get a little bit more food out of it for your animals. And then it makes it where predators can act, like carnivores can actually eat it too. So... Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, let's... Go to that. Clear all critical insect meat. Alright, let's clear out this space in here with oh no go on huntsman, go on clobber. Cut up all these bugs. Uh we're gonna do these out of wood instead, because we have so much fucking wood. Uh so I think it was um Furniture shelf out of
<laughs> Masterwork wood shelf. Uh, great. I mean, I guess I'll make the room nicer or something. It's still hideous, but... We got a few insect meat. Gotta say, I wasn't expecting those insects to give me bones, but we got some more bones, so we can finish repairing all these. Diva is already hot on the hot on the trail of just doing that, so nice. All right. <sighs> Sleeping already? Yeah, whatever. As far as research goes, we got we got sniper rifles, and we spent a lot of time just trying to kill things with sniper rifles. And then we're trying to get this, and then we can do fabrication. Fab, fabrication. And then after that, we will be able to make our own components, which will let us do a lot more things. Though it looks like we got that space over here taken care of. Bean, what are you? I mean, you're doing your learning thing, I guess. I wish you could de designate places for this little creature to do that because, like, it's not entirely safe out here, you know, like. I mean, these things are way down here, and there's probably other stuff in the area that they would eat, considering one of them they might end up eating the rest of this boar and calling it quits there, but I don't think a little bean would be able to... Oh, okay, I think I see how this goes. Children progress through growth tiers over time. The higher the learning need, the faster progress. When a growth moment comes, at age 7, 10, and 13, the child's growth tier determines how many trait and passion options you can choose from. Growth tier resets after each growth moment. So we got lots of time for this little critter to get uh, growth tier pretty high. Not a lot of time, but like enough time, I guess. Yeah, I wish I could give this creature somewhere to play inside. I, I honestly might just keep them restricted to raid defense because it's just so dangerous to be outside as this little critter. What's your move speed? Yeah, your move speed's bad, so. Roar just gave birth and you're already... so fast
Bean will sleep when Bean gets needs to sleep. Bean has no limits. Wish I could set this to a um, just drop on floor. Because someone else will just fucking. Like, someone else will haul it around. And honestly, I should probably set a spot in here uh, pretty high for. Like, maybe like a one bitch. Well, like a one piece shelf. Hello, Jedi. Um, welcome, Raiders. Unfortunately, I'm about to be in in like three minutes, but I appreciate the raid. We're doing more RimWorld shenanigans and trying to game the system as best as we can. Because what else are you going to do in, in your life? <laughs> Other than like game the system. What's kibble? No, we don't want that there. What's all that? We had a we had a run in with some insects and they gave us a lot of this nasty goopy meat so we're gonna we're trying to figure out something to do with it and we kind of figured it out. Uh, well, <laughs> for now we for now we are winning because earlier in the um, earlier in the stream we had some uh, insects kind of like exist in this area and they kept they kept reproducing. See if I raid ever again. <laughs> If if I if I was less if I was more confident that there wouldn't be storms this evening, I would keep streaming a bit longer. But we're we're, we're a little concerned that there might be like some kind of crappy storms going through the area. So kind of playing on the safe side and not be streaming the late more this evening, uh, just for safety's sake. Uh, I wouldn't have hay and have this be. But I appreciate the raid all the same, like definitely, because you know, y'all are you're awesome. Your community is awesome. <laughs> I'm sure you are, but I my brain is just always like, oh, you're doing bad thing. What is? We're currently trying to convert as much of this uh, hay into Fox kibble. Pisces now has joined the Bean Army. Thank you, Fox, for the follow. Yeah, <clears throat> <laughs> I'm awesome. It's true. Well, I appreciate that, Jedi. That's high praise. How are you doing today, Fox? Oh. There's not really any real way to win RimWorld, for better or for worse. I mean, you technically can, because there's, like, some ways to kind of, like, get your people in, like, a win state, I guess. It's just kind of iffy. It's a, it's a big game of semantics. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, this evening, I've been told to possibly expect bad, uh, severe storm stuff, so another, actually, right, a minute or two, we're probably going to be in and stream just so I can make sure I'm prepared in case that happens. I might stream later if it turns out not to be, or I might just kind of hang out and rest the rest of the evening. But, yeah, I... Go, go figure what happened on this on Saturday when I do a big stream day like this, but you know, you know how it goes. It's just like, oh, you... Lati fucking da. Or <laughs> the small child is just grabbing bundles of hay and, and dragging it through our base. <laughs> A very small child like this three that's like three-year-old is like just running around carrying hay <laughs> silly uh, let me 
see if my roommate's able to check the uh I'm going to see if my roommate is able to check the weather right now. Just because... If uh, my roommate can check the weather stuff and confirm that there's not really going to be anything happening because it might have changed, then I can probably go a little bit longer. But I want to, like, verify that first <laughs> before I make any commitments to anything. By the way, it's pretty good today. Had a good, had a nice day yesterday. Just kind of chilling out today playing ga Saturday games. Oh, I might go and see if she's able to check the weather stuff directly because she might be in the middle of something. So, and that on that note, I will be right back. All right, roommate was in a roommate was in the, doing some for, FF14 stuff, but we'll check soon. So in the meantime, we'll kind of keep going on a little bit. We had our latest snafu we dealt with was hit, like right around here. We had a a mechanoid cluster land, and that's robots, and they had like these these fire turrets and like these shotgun turrets, and it was an ordeal. And some of them are dead over here. These were from something else. But I think one of these was from the um, the mechanoid cluster. Which sucks because I don't really have much that can reliably deal with them other than just shoot them until they stop moving. <laughs> oh, these donkeys and their pregnancy. Admittedly, all the... She ha have... Oh, they must have done their site their pregnancy cycle. Cause we got all these donkey foals that are gonna um, meet a very swift end. If lady wants to get on that, she's oh here she she's gonna go. She's gonna do it. The only reason I have donkeys is because the storyteller just kind of randomly gifted me a breeding pair of donkeys. I was like, you know what? These don't take any taming skill to maintain. And they can just give you food and, like, stuff. Like, lots of plain. <laughs> so much leather. It's ridiculous. I might turn this... Sh these shelves into, um... Let's copy these settings. And then copy these, and that way some of this uh, leather and stuff can get put on these shelves instead of just sitting in the floor. <laughs> a lot going on, but old Jenny here is researching. We're currently researching a multi-analyzer, which should be very nice to have, which increases research speed and lets us do more research projects. 
like fabrication is one we want to be doing in the, in the future. A lot of tech tree to climb through, especially if you start at the tribal start like I did and you start with almost nothing and you take twice as long to research things. Mm. I did that to myself kind of willfully, but mm. and I, 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 I won't say completely willfully because that would give me more agency than I probably deserve. <laughs> Uh, can I flip this like that? We're going to start making these shelves out of wood instead of bone because you can see there's this like wood everywhere. <laughs> Way too much. So let me grab this and we'll build a, another copy or two there. For this stuff too. Okay, then let's grab our settings here. Copy to there. Copy to there. We'll grab these settings as for this. Copy to that. Copy to that. And I'll give people stuff to do and just help make this look less gross. And people just start grabbing stuff and throwing it on here. It's probably still not enough storage space. Oh, what we got? What we got? Manhunter pack? A pack of manhunting denopithicuses. What in the hell is that? Oh my god, is that a big fucking baboon? Uh-oh. Driven insane by the disease known as Scaria, they will roam the region. Uh, let me see. Alright, so the word is, um, like, it's probably going to just be thunderstorms and stuff, but St. Louis, which is kind of west of us a, fair, a bit, has tornado warnings and such, so I'm probably going to not stream after I end this stream, and I'll probably end it, like, pretty soon, just for, sa just for safety's sake. But, uh, maybe we should deal with these first, because I don't want to, like not like it's gonna be like a, like two weeks before I stream this game again because next week I can't stream because I'll be on call for work so let's uh maybe deal with these f fucking monkey first so everyone gets to get put on raid defense and we're gonna grab huntsman he has a sniper rifle. Yeah, you, you don't want to fuck around with like being in the wrong place at the wrong time when a freaking tornado decides it wants to drop down. But yeah, I want to deal with this problem first. As it is, everyone will stay indoors where they won't get targeted by a monkey. So I want to I want to see where they go. MJ is pregnant. They're they're constantly uh, doing the thing. Uh, yeah, if I'm gonna pop be popping out with a uh, huntsman and doing a uh, pot shots, I'm gonna be very careful because these might be really fast. Let's see their speed. We could just wait inside and they'll like go away eventually. 
Or we could fight them. <laughs> How fast are you? You're pretty quick. Um, it's more entertaining to try to actually fight them than to just kind of hide inside for like two days and then they leave, but... It's also unfortunate that, like this setup is like this because I can't really see them right here, but they can move towards me. Maybe I should just bring them through my traps because I got a lot of bones anyway, but um, where are they? Oh, I hit one of them. Well, let's get back inside and the uh, show's over. <laughs> Which one did I hit? Not that one. This one. I uh, shot it in the left leg, which slowed it down a little bit. If I can get this one to kind of get back into a good position again. No, it's... Oh, the other one's around the corner, so I might be able to just get a shot off on this one. If it would... Okay, yeah, this is the problem with having this here, is that it can kind of dip behind here and not be targetable. I might have to build a wall, like, down to here strictly for the sake of uh, not letting that happen as much in the near future. Because, as you can see, this is causing some strife for me shooting this fucking monkey. Monkey. I think he should go eat some food real quick because he's a little hungry. Currently discussing things with my roommate weather wise, seeing if that's kind of like. Yeah, I just want to deal with these freaking monkeys first. have Huntsman eat some food and then we'll continue trying to antagonize the monkeys where are they oh they're both they're both over here now okay Huntsman got a nice meal in him Oh, nice cool how far are you in it let me I'm gonna resize my discord so I can kind of see chat while paying attention to well discord as well yeah technically we should me and my roommate should be fine with the natos on the path they're going but we're I'm still gonna take caution as soon as we finish this uh deal with the monkeys I'm gonna be ending stream just because I want them to we're gonna switch to a um oh sweet this one's already hurt no this one's the not one that's not hurt but if I can get a shot off I'll get a shot off I don't really care which one it is I was afraid for a sec that thing was pathing towards me so I was like uh oh Now they shouldn't be able to dete detect me through the wall yet. Yeah. 
kind of just waiting to get one of them kind of separated from the other because it's Because that one's bleeding, but it's not severe enough to cause problems for it. Yeah, I've got I've got really strange like angles on my base area right here that I need to amend for. Uh... Yeah, we're just gonna drag the fucking monkeys over here. There's quite a few traps, and with with this door open like this, they should. Um path towards this area oh nice I really need to add more access points with these doors so I can just pop out and shoot things more often because this is tedious. You got the walls in a certain way but to protect stuff that's important like growing areas but it's just not ideal for actually fighting stuff and these monkeys don't seem interested in going around this way. You could probably t goad them into doing that but because if I pop my head out here they might um, kind of path this way they already kind of are anyway but mm. Uh, so they fighting? Why are you fighting? Fuck's wrong with y'all? Well, I've I've got a feeling that. Mm. Just fucking throwing down while we're dealing with the fucking monkey. Like they just started a freaking fight with each other. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Trying to handle the monkey shit and possible tornado shit is just not a good mix of um, things. Monkeys even care? Maybe they can't detect me from around here. That one might get the scent though. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on it and see if it changes its thing to moving to attack it. Mm. Yeah, it's better if we just kind of go back in and go this way. Well, they had a social fight. How bad did they get beat each other up? Just a bunch of punches and bruise a human head. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh God. Uh, come on, Huntsman. Let's try to get some more shots in these monkey. Well, that one's decided it wants to come over to this side of the base. 
So if I can get this one in a good spot, I can get some pot shots off on it. It's the one we've sh hurt before. Hey Bean, I got a, I got a fun activity you can do. Stand right here. Attract the monkey. Is it, is it, co is it taking the bait? I don't know. Oh, this is gonna go badly. Okay, uh, someone needs to assist our friend here, and probably just <sighs> why did I th why did I do that? Mm, that was a that was a poor decision on my part. Uh, let's see. This could go very badly because now, um, where to f get get the fuck back there? You need to you need to to do something about this because this monkey is running around. It's bleeding out in like ten hours, but that doesn't that doesn't mean much. Not an ideal situation, I'll say. Let's wait till the monkey goes back this way, and I. Okay, I kind of care about that because that's free money. Eventually, uh. <laughs> Look, I'm trying. I'm trying really hard to focus on this stuff so I can get off here like I need to do. The game just keeps throwing stuff at me. <laughs> uh, kill the monkey. If I can get the monkey, like, out here again. Well, shit. <laughs> we keep just passing the buck. And he's bleeding out in 10 hours now. This is bad. Um, rescue this one first. Because now the monkey is just kind of stuck. This is a uh, problem. I shouldn't have done what I did. Because <laughs> we might lose someone now because of my mistake. Because everyone else is just, well, I mean, you're not like super bruised up, so you could probably fight the monkey some more and you have a thrombo horn I might have to recruit your um, your aid here caveman caveman's also just thick by genetically he's just uh, just powerful 
reduced pain, strong melee damage, so he might be what we need to save the day. Oh. Thank fuck for caveman. Holy shit. <laughs> what a fucking disaster. We, we don't even have enough hospital beds for, like, half our people are just fucking fucked up. <laughs> oh, did caveman really get hurt? Nah, he's, I mean, he's gonna take some damage too, but, like, we don't really have... Get all of our back so he can get tended to. Uh, you need to tend to this one first. He's a bit more dire. He's bleeding out everywhere. You see the you can see the blood everywhere. Frank got surprised he didn't lose anything to this fucking monkey. Jesus. Where's this other damn monkey at? Kill. <laughs> Finish this goddamn monkey off. Kill the damn thing. I don't want to see it anymore. Wait, what happened to the other one? Did it, like, bleed out? It must have, because it's, it's over here. Well, that's our monkey problem solved, I guess. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. It only took me, like, nearly throwing, like, three colonists away. <laughs> you know, no big deal. Okay, you're healed up. You're healed up. And Huntsman should be healed up as well. Well, that's going to put us in a bit of a bind, but thankfully we have enough food. But that's going to be where we're in, and just I want to make sure that we're um, safe at, in real life. Now that everyone's safe in not real life. <laughs> but let me go ahead and finish this stuff off. Alright. So that's where I'm ending my stream for tonight. Thank y'all so much for coming by. Thank you for the raid, Jedi. It's always a pleasure. Uh, let me find someone to raid real fast. Probably just up a street speedy raid and go. Uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go 